never told you guys how much I really love this game. Hello, everyone. This is Bahamut Charles of Force 5, also known as your friend Kenny here. Oh, boy. The projects are over. It's the weekend. It's a Saturday night. Let's just, let's just roll. Let's just do it. We, I'm introducing you to Fire Emblem. This is a celebration and also uh, in honor of two amazing, really, really awesome friends that I've made uh, that introduced me to this series. Uh, not really introduced me to, but uh, they, I had watched some people play Path of Radiance before, and I'd played a s tiny, tiny little chunk of it, at least to know who Ashnard is. Uh, and I said, oh, it's interesting. But I never bothered to pick it back up. It's... I don't know. I don't know why I decided not to pick it up, but yesterday, I was, um... I don't know, they convinced me to play it again. And they told me to start with the first one. Well, actually, no, that's not true. Uh, Shane told me to start with Fire Emblem 8, 7, and Sacred Stones. Looker was going in an order of... 8, 7, Sacred Stones, Path of Radiance, Radiant Dawn, something like that. But I really have them to thank. Uh, because I, I'm, I'm really loving this. Because within 12 hours, I beat the entire game. Well, not the entire game, but at least to the point where Lin is no longer in the party. I beat uh, chapter uh, up to chapter 10. So here we're introduced to uh, what looks like older Roy, but Roy wouldn't appear until after Melee. Because uh, he and um, Roy and Marth appeared in Smash before they were even, uh, like actual characters released, but I don't know, I don't know, Ella would just look so familiar to me. Probably just a very recognizable character. Uh, let's just go guns blazing. Wow, 21 twice. I don't know what kind of person would be able to survive that kind of shot. Not even the bosses at this point of the game can do it. What I, what I actually really like is that I feel like hit is uh, a critical hit thing in Chrono Trigger and other RPGs, whereas in this one, it's like the it's the likelihood that your attacks will hit. And keep in mind, this is just a let's look at type thing. I, I wish I could finish the whole, uh, the whole battle system here, but that, that's sadly just not really gonna, it's not gonna happen, unfortunately. Uh, this guy's got 22 hit points. Let's just do it. Oh man, that's awesome. Hey, <laughs> hey, missed. However, I've also told you that I really like the battle theme, right? Well, no? I do. I freaking love it. It's amazing. <gasps> I love it. Dorcas! He's a very awesome character because he's so overpowered. Ooh, axe to the head. Got to hurt. Anyways, uh, I was thinking of making this an uh, LP of sorts, but unfortunately it will not be blind anymore because I've gotten my hands... Uh, actually, it will be kind of blind because I'm not... I'm still a little bit unsure about the story. Um, I just know, like... I, I just want to, like, do the battles and stuff. I pay... I usually pay attention to the story when I'm really paying attention, not when I'm just kind of skipping over it. They told me to LP it, and I real and I definitely will do that. And it seems that practically no one is into Legend of Zelda: Oracle of Seasons anymore, and uh, it's just been so hard for me to get the motivation to pick it up again because the controls, the fact that I have to get on a freaking website, and the fact that the website might crash, it all. It's just so nerve-wracking for me that I'm not sure if I, if I want to do it anymore. And people do this with LPs all the time, I'm sure. Um, but I, I don't know. I just feel like it has to be done. And personally, I like this game a little bit more than Legend of Zelda Oracle of Seasons. If I'm being totally honest, I would prefer this game over that. Um, maybe I'll come back to it at some point, just like I did with Mystery Dungeon. But as far as I know, at this point, I, I, I don't know. I just don't have motivation to do it anymore. Alright. And you're gone already. Don't screw with Dorcas. I really like the names of the of the uh, characters in this game. It's awesome. I will admit, they do deal a fair amount of damage.
Oh my gosh, they're just all they're just, they just want him. I have yet to see Dorcas get a critical hit. Yay, level up. Alright, what do we got? Fighter, strength. Oh, what? Just hit points. I was hoping for strength or defense boost, but come on now. That's just lame -o. I'll get more into the combat system and stuff when I'm actually LPing the game. But, uh, yeah. I think this is where I'll stop it, because I don't I don't think I'll be able to finish it with it in another f couple minutes. And this is going to be just a short let's look at thing and update video as to what's going on with my life and stuff. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. This is Pumper Charizard 465 signing out, and I will see you guys later, which will probably be when I'm recording Yoshi's Island. So, I'll see you then.